Hey everybody, it's Caitlin with Glitter Chimp coming to you today from my craft room to kick off National Crafters Month, which is the month of March, with an amazing tutorial. And with this tutorial, what we will be doing is actually bringing things back to the basics and doing a very simple tumbler that anyone can do, whether you're starting out or are very advanced within the craft of tumbler making. So today we're going to be using Good as Gold Mixology, which is a great soft gold. It's got a couple other little colors in there. And turquoise, which is a pearlescent um, coarse cut glitter. These two colors together are, of course, a perfect pairing, which is what we at Glitter Trump are all about, is making it simple for you. And these two colors are actually extremely popular right now, especially with rodeo season going on. So we're going to make a cup with this, and we're going to add a little bit of flair to it with some leopard print vinyl uh, on the bottom of the cup. Also today, we're going to be using the Glitter Chimp Pro and the Glitter Chimp Pro Plus Epoxy on the same tumbler. And we'll finish the, the tumbler, of course, with the Glitter Chimp Pro Plus. So what we're going to do now is basically get this camera turned down, ready to go and get the cup turner set up and get this tutorial started. We are going to get started now on the first installment of March's Na which is National Crafting Month, as I said at the beginning. So let's get to this. We are going to be making a cup just, and we're, like I said, we're cutting it back, going back to the basics. We're going to be using turquoise, pearlescent, coarse glitter, and good as gold. So turquoise is going on the top, good as gold is going on the bottom. And then to finish this tumbler off, I'm actually going to do leopard print um, vinyl just across to give it little spots and stuff. Make it something a little kind of funky so let's get started um today like i said i am using the glitter chimp pro epoxy and i've got my part a and part b already mixed right here um i did accidentally mix up too much epoxy but that's okay i'm going to use it in a mold because that's what i do with all of my extra epoxy and i forgot my paper like always whoop, whoop. got my paper all right so let's get started with this video. So I'm just gonna go and pour this on here. All I did was a white base on this cup. This is just a 20 ounce um, Modern Curve by Hog. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pour all this on here. So we're going to start this, of course, with the epoxy method to apply the glitter to the cup. And the reason that I like the epoxy method is again, just because it really helps get the glitter to lay really, really flat, which is what I want. Saves me from sanding anything extra that I don't want to sand at the after I put on the next coat of epoxy, before I put on, you know, the vinyl and stuff. So, just gonna jump on into this. And, uh, yeah. Um, I just base coated this with white spray paint, nothing fancy, just a flat white um, that I've had for who knows how long I've had that spray paint. I have a bunch of white spray paint and black spray paint, and that's mostly what I base coat with. All right, so that's nice and done on the top. Now I got to get to the bottom. I really did not mean to mix this much epoxy. Oh well. Another mold for Olivia. Make sure my epoxy is nice and smooth. And I always try to wipe off as much excess just because I don't want my glitter to run too much using the epoxy method because then it can get all mixed up in the middle. All right, now that we have that part done, set my epoxy off to the side, take off my glove, and I'm gonna put my extremely fancy construction paper underneath um, and that's because I can't figure, I don't know where I put my uh, 
printer paper. All right, so I'm using turquoise um, coarse cut, and this is a pearlescent glitter. This was from the January sub box. Um, the January glitter sub box. So it's a different kind of glitter because it's not going to be as super sparkly as a um, normal basic glitter, but it's got a really cool pearl shift to it, which is what I really like about it. So let's get started with turquoise. And when you do this, you don't want to put your glitter on too thick because you do want to allow some movement within the glitter itself. And when it moves, it flattens itself out, which is really, really nice. I'm just going to go down to about the mid point of the tumbler. Now we're going in with good is gold, which is a gorgeous, it's a mix. And I love this mix because it's not, it doesn't have a lot of big pieces in it. What am I doing? Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to start at the bottom and work my way up. And so what I'm doing now is just going to make sure that the gold overlaps that turquoise. So that it nicely blends. Then I take a little bit in my hand and I literally sprinkle this on so that it helps break up any harsh lines and then it gives it kind of an ombre effect with the gold going up into the turquoise. And it's rodeo season down here, so this is like screaming that urban cowgirl look with the, te the teal, the turquoise and the gold. Just put a little bit more sprinkles. All right, so now that's done. Now the fun part, I have to put glitter on the bottom of the cup and make sure that the edge is nice and covered. I can't ever do it with the lid on when I do this. In order to get the glitter on the bottom, I throw basically the entire jar out. <laughs> All right, the bottom is glittered, the top is done. And there we go. So I have this now finished. Nice, cute, got a really nice, simple ombre going up with the gold. 
And now I'm gonna let that spin and cure overnight because I use the Pro Epoxy and it's dark and I'm going to bed anyways. So that is the end of this first part of the tutorial. I will finish the next part in the morning. Right, so this next morning cup is nice and cured. So I have, of course, nothing on the top layer. So I'm actually going to do um, top layer using the Glitter Chimp Pro Plus epoxy, which is our fast setting epoxy. And I've already got it mixed up right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and drizzle that on there. And my favorite thing about applying epoxy over the glitter is you really get to see it come to life and it makes it just really stand out and pop. And that's what I love about making tumblers. So we're gonna get this coated. And I did the fast set, that way I can finish this cup, of course, today. So this will actually be nice and cured for me to go ahead and vinyl in about four hours, probably three hours, because I have it pretty warm in this room, um, which is great, because then by the time I come pick Olivia up from school and get home, I can finish this cup off with vinyl. So now I'm gonna take off my glove. Don't need that anymore. Time for the torch. Perfect. Awesome. Oh, this cup is beautiful. I don't even have to put any vinyl on this and it would just be a stunner on its own. But what's gonna happen is now we're gonna come back later this afternoon and I'm gonna put a uh, black leopard print vinyl on the bottom of the cup and it'll be all done. So we will be back again in a minute. Okay, so this is now back after, of course, I've picked a lady up from school. So we have, this was the Glitter Chimp Pro Plus Epoxy to get that first coat on there. And I mean, this is, I could consider this cup done, um, but I'm not finished. I want to put some leopard print on the bottom. So let's get this going. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, I don't want a whole lot of the leopard print. Like, I don't want it this much on here, that's a whole lot going on. So I'm actually gonna do this a little differently and this is how I do it, which is I'm going to kind of pick and choose what pieces I want and where I want them to go and just put them on as I feel like they should be on the cup. So we're gonna start doing that right now. And um, yeah. So, and the reason that I'm not just gonna put this whole piece right down here at the bottom is I kind of like to Feather, feather it up, I guess, or fan it out so it's uh, not so concentrated. Um, so I just kind of pick and choose. This is just a standard um, leopard print that I have um, a file for. And I'm literally just gonna do this one piece at a time and pick and choose how I want it to lay. And some of you are probably going, oh my gosh, I couldn't do it that way, but at the same time, with how I do these, um, I always can keep this and use this for other projects if I wanted. And so that's kind of what I do with these. So I'm just gonna do, 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 do. We're gonna put that there. And like I said, I just do this on the cup turner. I'm gonna actually wrap that one right there around the edge of the cup. I mean, I even have these pieces, I'm sorry, that where it's cut straight and I can put those on the edge too.
So now I have all these pieces left. I can save them for another cup. But that's nice and done. So what I'm gonna do, make sure all my pieces are nice and flat. Got the bottom nice and done. We're done. So we're gonna mix up some epoxy. I'm gonna go with the Pro Plus again so I can have this finished quickly. So I'm gonna get my parent here, mix this up, and I'll speed this part up. And well, actually, I'm gonna I'll tell you what, I'm gonna turn the camera off for a second so I can get my epoxy mixed, and then we'll be right back. Okay, got my Pro Plus mixed up here. Gonna kind of stir up just a little bit more and get my cup turner going. All right, this is so pretty. This cup makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. All right, so now I'm gonna get this on the epoxy on the cup. Because I only have about 15 minutes of work time on this thing, on the epoxy before it starts to heat. All right. Let's put the epoxy on. Okay, got my nice edge there. Make sure that's all nice and coated, which it is. Now I'm gonna take off my glove and do my favorite thing, which is popping all the bubbles. Okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna let this cure for about three to four hours, and then I'll come back and show you guys the completely finished product. So we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, you guys, here it is, the beautiful tumbler that we just finished. And wow, I'm so excited about this cup. I am sure that everyone at work is gonna try to take this cup, which is fine with me, because I don't make them to keep. So anyways, this is the cup we did. Super excited about you guys joining us for National Crafters Month. And I'm really excited to keep doing a whole, whole bunch of videos for you guys. So we're going to keep making these videos for you guys. I've got a list of things that we're gonna be working on throughout this entire month, which makes me really, really excited. Um, we're gonna be doing things from making tumblers to canvas to other random little projects that you can do at home. Um, but anyway, I'm very excited about this whole entire month because this just is a big month for me. Um, lots of birthdays, anniversaries, and of course it's National Crafters Month. So um, with this video, like I said, we got to use both the Glitter Chimp Pro and the Glitter Chimp Pro Plus Epoxy. This cup was done within 24 hours from start to finish. And the other reason it took even longer is because I did use the Glitter Chimp Pro to start. Um, but at the same time, that's totally cool. I actually prefer to use the slower setting epoxy, especially when it comes to cups. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. You guys can use whatever you want. Um, anyway, so keep, um, up to date with us on all the things that we have going on this month. We have so many new videos that are going to come out. It's going to blow y'all's mind. Um, so don't forget to, um, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything as well as hit that notification bell. So again, you never miss any of our videos that we post and give this video a thumbs up for a like. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please comment below and I will answer as quickly as possible. Otherwise, you can always send us an email at info at glitterchimp.com or join our Facebook group, which is Glitter Chimp on Facebook. And of course, we have a huge community of other crafters in there that are always super willing to help any way that you possibly could have any questions. We're all there to help and guide everyone through the entire 
craft world involving glitter and epoxy. So if you guys have a great rest of your day and we will see you guys again tomorrow with another video.